Hi, I'm Mitchell Kaplan, the owner of Books and Books here in Carl Gables, Florida. You know, Marcel Proust has written the longest book ever written in his In Search of Lost Time. But today, we're going to read all seven volumes in less than three minutes. Let's begin. Welcome to the worldwide summarized Proust channel. <laughs> The first volume is called Swan's Way. The taste of Madeleine dipped in tea recalls Marcel's childhood visits to Combray, the family's country walks along the two ways, their relationship with various neighbors, including Charles Swan, and Marcel's fascination with the aristocratic Guermont family. The second part tells the story of Swan's unhappy love affair with the courtesan Odette de Cressy at the Salon of Madame Verdurin. The volume's final section describes the friendship between Marcel and Gilbert, the daughter of Swan and Odette, who has now become Madame Swan. Volume 2, Within a Budding Grove. The first half describes Marcel's adolescence in Paris in two upper-middle-class households, that of his parents and that of the Swans. The second half takes place in Baalbek on the Normandy coast, where he stays in the Grand Hotel with his grandmother. The Paris section mocks haute bourgeois pretensions, while the Baalbek section contains equally amusing descriptions of provincial bourgeois affectations. Recovered from his infatuation with Gilbert, Marcel now falls in love with every girl he sees, of which there are many. He makes friends with Robert de Saint-Loup and his uncle, Baron de Chalos. Volume 3, The Germain Way. Marcel's family moved next door to the Paris residence of the Duke and Duchess de Germain, and Marcel becomes obsessed with making their acquaintance. He spends weeks at a military academy with their nephew, Robert de Saint-Loup, who he had met at Baalbec. Eventually, Marcel is accepted into the magic circle of the Germain and the Faubourg Saint-Germain. Volume 4, Cities of the Plain. Continuing his social success in the Faubourg Saint-Germain, Marcel also discovers the hidden homosexual world of the Germans Baron Charles. On his second visit to Baalbek, he becomes part of the Verdurans' little clan, rekindles his love affair with Albertine, and discovers the world of lesbianism. Volume 5 is titled The Captive. Marcel brings Albertine to live with him in Paris, where he treats her more like a captive. Obsessively jealous, he discards his social circle and alternately tries to please her or to leave her. Above all, he tortures himself thinking about, asking about, and neurotically thwarting any possible indulgence in her lesbian tastes. Meantime, Charles's public behavior becomes increasingly outrageous until he is publicly disgraced by the now influential Verduines. Albertine leaves without warning. Volume 6, The Fugitive. Marcel gradually recovers from the disappearance and subsequent death of Albertine. He rediscovers Gilbert, who, with her mother Odette, is now accepted by smart society, while the memory of her father Swan is hidden and destroyed. Marcel visits Venice with his mother and learns by letter of son Loup's marriage to Gilbert. After his marriage, Son Luke becomes an active and promiscuous homosexual. The final volume is called Time Regained. Visiting Gilbert at her home in Combray, Marcel learns that Swan's Way and the Guermont's Way are not irreconcilable. The war affects everyone differently. Robert dies a hero at the front. Charles owns the male brothels of wartime Paris. Marcel is still an unsuccessful writer and returns to Paris after the war, where he's invited to an afternoon party at the Princesse de Guermont. All the novel's characters, or, or those still living, are at the party, but everyone has changed. Time has destroyed everything. 
Even the new Princesse de Guermant turns out to be the widowed Madame Verduran. Marcel realizes that memory can only be recaptured and time defeated through art. With a sense of joy in the middle of the party, he realizes that his vocation is to write a great novel and thus to bring the past back to life.